everyone, Kim here with Winey Women doing a wine review tonight. We are going to open up a special bottle of wine that I got a, uh, probably three weeks, three weeks back, maybe four weeks back. <clears throat> um, we had a open weekend or I don't know how we ended up doing this, but we went and did some winery tours um, and we stumbled across one. The reason why we went there is because um, it it's, well, it's kind of named after a, after a woman, and um, so we thought it was a the, a woman's winery. And so those are always kind of fun to visit because there's not very many women winer, winemakers out there. So when you find one, it's kind of a cool um, thing. So I think we had just finished with um, Raptor Ridge. And so we went and to visit the, this new one called Colleen Clemens Vineyards. And what was really funny is that if you don't know that winery exists, it's you don't know it's there because it's way like winding hills and all this other stuff. So it's off of, um, it's in Newburgh and it's off of Dop Road. Um, but it was a really pretty drive and I'm so glad we got to go there. Their, their estate is beautiful. Their tasting room is beautiful. They have a huge patio cover too. So um, even if it's rainy, you can be outside and it's nice. And I think they had some fire pits and things like that. So it was a very, very nice tasting room. And uh, Brandy was the one that... Um, uh, kind of walked us through everything and she's the tasting room manager and she was so sweet I really enjoyed meeting her um, she and I have similar goals in mind so it's kind of nice just to chit chat with her but um, so how Colleen Clemens came about actually Joe and Vicki uh, Stark started this winery in honor of Vicki's mom Colleen um, and then so then they did this to honor her because um, I, I think she had vineyards I didn't read the whole story I apologize but anyway so it's a really great story and their wines like this one right here is the 2011 Adrian so Adrian is the daughter of Joe and Vicki Stark so I like it when winemakers name uh, wines after their kids because um I've got one in my head when I became a winemaker and hopefully it'll catch on so but anyway this uh, 2011 Pinot Noir um, I I really enjoyed it while we were at the tasting room, so I thought I would get it, and then I want to do a review about it. So here we go. It's, um, you get a little, it's almost like a little, not a little mint. It's not mint. Um, of course, you get the toastiness, the earthy. You get a little, I think it's like jammy blackberries in there. It almost kind of, I think Pinot Noirs, they have that bacon smell to them. It's a very beautiful color. Mmm. You kind of get a plum on the tongue or, or even like, um, yeah, like a, a juicy plum, a ripe plum. Maybe even a prunish kind of like in that transition stage. A little spice it's a little tannic it's got a little dryness on it mid-palate a little pepper um I love it because every time I go down I just love the smell it's got it's got pepper on it definitely now that I can smell that a little bit more and what I like is it <clears throat> although it's a light wine um it gives um it's not like a big, but it's like it gives you a full feeling. Not that it's a big wine or anything, but it just kind of gives you that your whole mouth feels good when it drinks it. It's a very satisfying, everything in your mouth gets, you know, touched and, and it, and I like it because it's dry. Oh, I love it. Um, I love this wine. Colleen Clemens, you guys, go check it out. Go see Brandy in the, the tasting room. She's an amazing person. Um, she's super sweet, and I really like her a lot. And this 2011 Adrian Pinot Noir, named after Colleen's granddaughter or Joe and Vicky's daughter, however you'd like to say it. Um, but until next time, you guys, go check them out and tell me what you think. Cheers!